I am at Quantum of Conscience channel. Uh, strategy for humanity. He's basically saying the same thing I am about the solution to the problem. Because they're playing the Hegelian dialect on us. Problem, reaction, solution. They invent the problem and they have the solution. The only part we play is the reaction. So to stop the cycle, we must stop reacting. And I agree with that. But there's a bigger thing. Uh, it's what I've been talking about on my channel. I call it the stone the builders rejected. Let's go to Daniel chapter 2. Uh, so Daniel's had interpreting this dream for Nebuchadnezzar. And he's telling him... Um, <clears throat> Let me get down here. <clears throat> and thou sawest till a stone was cut without hands, which smote the image upon his feet that were of iron and clay and break them into pieces. So we're actually in this part of the statue where we're at the feet of iron mixed with the clay. Uh, and this stone that comes from heaven destroys all of this. Uh, then was the iron, Mars, the clay, which is mercury in Virgo, the brass, which is a mixture of Venus and Jupiter, um, the silver, the moon, and the gold, broken to pieces together, and they became like the chaff of the summer threshing floor. You're talking about previous ages. And the wind, which again is associated with an air sign, carried them away, that no place was found for them. And the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. And this is the dream. <clears throat> Let me skip on down. Whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of the potter's clay, I've been telling you about mutable earth. That mutable earth is that miry clay that Adam was created from. Miry clay. Mutable earth, the potter's clay. And it is mercury. When you talk about mercury, this is commerce. When you talk about iron, that's Mars, the god of war. So you're talking about this kingdom has been set up from the beginning to make money and stay in power by war. They use mercury commerce to make money on war, and that's what keeps them in power. And as the toes of the feet were part of iron, war, and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. Whereas thou sawest the iron mixed with miry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, not women, the seed of men. But they shall not cleave one to another, even as iron is not mixed with clay. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven, that Saturn, set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed. And the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. So Forasmuch as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold, the great God hath made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. And the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof sure. So let's go to Matthew chapter 24. So we're talking about, well, we all know this chapter very well. It, these are the beginning of sorrows, nation against nation, kingdom against kingdom. We're in the middle of this. All these famines, pestilence, earthquakes, it's all going on. Everybody's de betraying one another. False prophets deceiving many. Uh, and because iniquity shall abound, here's the big one that hurts. The love of many has indeed waxed cold. But he that endureth unto the end the same shall be saved. The end of what? Indignation. The end of iniquity. 
And this gospel, this good news of the kingdom, shall be preached in all the world for a witness to all nations. And then the end shall come. When ye therefore see the abomination of desolation spoken by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Let's go on down. For then there shall, but pray that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath. For then there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. And except those days shall be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. All right. That's what I want to talk about. Shortening the days. How do we speed this up? Uh, we're, what we're talking about here, when you talk about this stone that comes from heaven, again, it is the stone the builders rejected. Everything is about the fixed cross. Uh, Mars on the fixed cross, as Antares, is the tares that are spoken of. Uh, it is the stone they accepted which was Mars, the lowest chakra. Uh, you're talking about Regulus, the stone of the kings. Uh, then you're talking about Siri Sirius or Aldebaran, the stone the builders accepted when they should have taken Fomalhaut or Thalem the whole time, referring back to the pineal gland. So, really, in a way, all we can worry about is ourself, because it's up to you to go within you and pop your own pineal gland. You can't do it for anybody else. You can only do it for you. But I do see a solution to this problem if we can do it in a collective manner. Uh, and it has to do with shortening the days. There's only one way that these days can be shortened. And that is if there is a big enough earthquake or a tilting of the earth or a tilting of the sun or our system that makes Aquarius rise in the spring equinox. That's what we need. That's when all this happens. When that sphinx, Thalem, looks itself in the eye, in the third eye. So we could actually... If you want to cry out to heaven for something, if you want to manifest something, this is what we should be collectively manifesting. We should all, all of us, should focus and picture in your mind the spring equinox and the earth in that balance where the day is as long as the night. You have 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night. That egg stands on the end. So you picture in your mind the spring equinox rising and you putting an egg on the ground and it's standing on its end. And then you picture Thalem. You picture the sphinx with an egg standing up in front of it. And that is the image that will bring the stone from heaven. If you want to talk about images, when you talk about the egg, Standing up, it is the spring equinox. And the sun rising, you want the egg standing with the sun rising, and the egg is between the sun and the sphinx. There's you an image to focus on when you are seeking to go inward. If you want to shorten these days, and this to be done now, then that's the image you need to produce in your mind. We all need this image. If, let me, uh, I'm going to pause this and take you to Stellarium. All right. Uh, Sirius, this one, and Aldebaran are the stones of the builders and the Freemasons. The problem <coughs> with them choosing Sirius it's not actually in the constellation of Taurus. It's in the lower constellation of Gemini, and what I call in the sub-basement, or in the abyss. That's why they've got you following the rabbit down the rabbit hole. Here's the rabbit, lupus, Arnab in the Arabic. 
if you want to understand all of this, you must, you must, you must go through the names of the stars in the different languages and the translations thereof. It tells the story. What we need is this stone, Fomahalt, which is Thalem. Uh, in the Arabic, it means educator, instructor. It's a guiding light. When you talk about the Gospel of John, I think it's chapter 15, where uh, Thalem says, I go to prepare a place in my father's house or many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you that where I am, ye, there ye may be also. And if I go, I will send unto you the Comforter, who will teach you, Thalem, and guide you, Fomahot, in all things. And that's the pineal gland. Uh, you get the kingship from the Arabic, and the teacher from the Arabic terminology. But I refer you to Bill Donahue's work. I'm not doing it in the Greek because he perfected it. Why should I go back and do something he's already done? He perfected it in the Greek. All of these stars speaking of the brain and popping the pineal gland. This is the stone that comes from heaven. This is why I've been telling you the solution, one, is quantum of consciousness is correct. Stop reacting because it throws you back down in the lower chakras of Mars, which is that iron. Right? You're back over here into the god of thou shalt not. The god of fire and brimstone. That's hell. We're in Pisces, which is the abyss. So when you see this term that the sea gives up her dead, uh, that's exactly what it's talking about. You cannot save the world. I cannot save the world. The world is just an age. Who wants to save it anyway? Uh, you cannot, you're not even responsible for the people around you. Um, now, when I popped my pineal gland as a child, I was ready to just move on to the next and walk in the kingdom. But I agreed to come back to stand in the gap for those who had suffered the same thing I had been suffering. So we can stand in the gap. This is something we can do. Uh, a lot of us are just ready to go and get the hell out of here. But if we do, then we're taking ourselves out of that gap for those that are loved and deserve to be loved. Uh, and it's hard on us. We're getting tired. We're getting weak. We're getting fed up. We're get a, getting tired of telling you the same things over and over, and nobody's listening. Nobody wants to do it. Nobody wants to do their homework. Well, I'm telling you, nobody can do it for you. You must do it for yourself. Stop reacting. Stop moving into that lower chakra of Mars and iron, sex and war. Get out of it. Get into your heart and then just go straight. If you're going to pray to the God of heaven, then keep that image of your mind that you're standing there with this egg in your hand, sitting it on the ground, and it stands on its ends as that sun is rising on the horizon. And at your back is Thalem, that sphinx. That is the image you need to project to heaven. Think of this, just imagine, one big earthquake is all it would take. One big tsunami. Otherwise, I'm going to show you how long we have to wait. Because this thing is a ways off. Let's put it on 322, two, which are even 321, which is the real spring equinox. It's 321. They do 322 two because of leap year. You got to add that day. So 321, spring equinox. And let's set it at about 6.30 a.m. Well, 6 a.m. because you would have 
equal day and equal night. So I'm going to put it at 5.59 a.m. 2018 at 3.21. And so we click on the sun. Over here, it is in Pisces. So we keep clicking up a year, same day, same time, till this changes from Pisces to Aquarius. And we just hold and go. And I'm going to show you how many years we got. And it's going to make you sad. But we need that sun to rise in Aquarius. And you see that little retrograde motion the sun makes? That pop back? Part of that is um, because in February you have that leap year. That day added and then removed. Added uh, every four years they throw that day in there. When it was made that way so that it would slide through the heavens and they keep it popping back. Jupiter and his minions are always about time. And I'm, that's exactly who I'm pointing the finger at because that's who the Bible says it is. It's the Jupiterians uh, which do the tin man and also Mars. And they work with the cowardly lion. Boy, we've got a ways to go. We're at 20, uh, the year 2,500 now. Do you see what I'm telling you? How long it's actually going to be. And then it takes 216 years to move from, there it is. It pops, watch this. And 2,606, 607, it moves in to Aquarius. 608, it's back in Pisces. And we wait again till 2611 to move into Aquarius. There's the date. Are you willing to wait that long? Because I agree with what uh, Matthew said. Except those days be shortened, there's not going to be any people left. Because they're they are systematically, uh, and when it says flesh, you may as well say DNA, because that and that means more than people. That means every living thing. They're out to destroy it. Now, why is this? Uh, they actually tell us why they're doing it. One, these people actually believe in their own mind that they are the Jews. Understand. Jupiter is the son of Saturn. Jupiter is the offspring of Saturn. Zeus is the son of Kronos. Okay? So they believe they're heirs to this throne. And that God, they, in their mind, in their own writings, they teach that God rejected them. And so to bring, he's turned their back on them. He's turned his back on them. So to get God to come back to earth, they must bring earth to the point of destruction. And they know this. They're trying to get his attention. Uh, all they had to do was change stones. The stone the builders rejected, which is Fomahalt, which is your pineal gland. And when we produce images in our mind, you have no idea how powerful that is. Everything is done on symbolism, images, and they refer to it as logos. Out of the Greek, the word logos, L-O-G-O-S. To us, a logo is a symbol for the corporations, correct? Well, logos also translates to power, because they know their powers in those symbols. I've done the video on Humpty Dumpty. I think it got taken down. But I, that video went viral. It had millions of views really quick. And it was about that egg. And Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. He sits there straight up in the spring equinox. Humpty Dumpty fell off the wall, right? So it's, they're talking about putting that egg up there, and it no longer sits. The day changed, and their time was up. 
and all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put that egg back together again. They put it up there to stand up. It did not. It fell. That means their time is up. The time of the earthly king, which is uh, Leo, Regulus, is over, Rover. So in my understanding, if we can come together, calling out to the God of heaven, in Aquarius, through Thalem, that pineal gland, with the image of the sun rising while the egg stands right in right between the eyes of the Sphinx. That's what we need. That's the stone that comes from heaven that crushes the feet, which is the age of Pisces, the age of Pisces here, that God of iron, even in the New Testament, the church today, they've got you not worshiping the God of Pisces, the God of um, grace and mercy, Jupiter, who's at this point lies in illusion, but they've got you worshiping the Old Testament God. And you don't even understand what it means. This is freaking Molech. This is passing your children through the fire. This is Vulcan. This, that's the same God. He's a God of war. This God requires a blood sacrifice. Mars. The God of Aquarius does not want your sacrifices. They're an abomination to him. He just wants your love, your respect. He don't want you worshiping him. He don't want you graveling at his feet. With, and it is a he aspect here, but same God is a she aspect in Capricorn. And it's Saturn right there in Capricorn on that day. Let's back it up a few minutes. Perfect timing right there. There it is. I don't know how to put it any clearer than that. That's why I've been telling you. You need to make sure what cross you're on because we've all been lied to. Because they locked the clock back over here and they did it with the first commandment. When you read the Ten Commandments, the first one is, Thou shalt have no other God before me. That's Aries speaking. And the reason you don't have another God before him in astrology they start, it, and they put Aries as the head. Well, he's the god of the phallic. He's in the lower chakra. They, they chose the wrong stone. Uh, the pineal gland is in the head. Uh, when you talk about heaven or air, or that mountain in heaven, the mountain is the head. It's the top of the body, the top of the mountain. And you're talking about the pineal gland. Well, this is the bottom. This is the root chakra here they're keeping you in. And it's a chakra of reaction. It's a chakra of either make love or make war. You're going to react one way or another. You, this is the stone we need to reject. All of them. We need to reject all of them and only accept this one. Only accept the pineal gland to go within and you empower yourself. And I'm going to sit here and tell you, a lot of these shows that they're showing you on TV about becoming the hero, uh, and they're pointing you to Ophiuchus over here, this Hercules character, um, the true hero is in the pineal gland. And we all can do that. When people pop their pineal glands, you literally can become God. You, you have these incredible powers. You know when somebody's lying to you. you got to get used to not reacting to it. It's that strong. Nobody can lie to you. Um, look up empath. Empath. You become empathic. You become telepathic. Uh, they, you want to claim they're telepathic. They're in this hive mind. Uh, well, all their mind is in their pants. Down here in Mars. This is their stone. They chose every stone on the board, Sirius, Aldebaran. This one is called Sheraton. It means the first sign. They chose Regulus. They chose Antares. 
which is the tares. Antares is tares. Mars, Mars rules this. And uh, this is how it goes biblically. The God created, in the beginning, God created the heavens, Aquarius, and the earth, Capricorn. And he said, let there be light. Literally, that was Jupiter in Sagittarius. They call themselves the illuminated ones. It's the fire in the mind. If you think of it not as fire, but as light. So they're the fire in the mind. And what comes forth out of them are the tares. So God's created this heaven and this earth. This guy over here who's illuminated come back and started planting tares. There's your tares that were planted in the garden. Venus was the serpent in the garden that gave them the occult knowledge of the heavens. They were supposed to use it to pop the pineal gland, but they used the lower stone instead, Mars, sexuality, and they started producing what we know today. They've disrupted our DNA. And just like after the flood, before the flood, here's your miry clay and mercury. They crowned themselves kings, Regulus, everything's in confusion. So here comes the flood, right between fire and water. We've seen this battle since then when we came out of the fire of Aries into the water of Pisces. But you realize, that's why we ain't seen the end of Game of Thrones yet, because they become one. The gods of fire attach themselves to the gods of water, and they work together, and you don't know it. They rule, they, they remain in power, and instead of dividing their power, they come together, and now they have more power. More power than has ever been seen on this planet. <clears throat> Let's talk about the locusts. Uh, and th these locusts that come and torture us for five months. A month is a moon. A month is also known as a myriad. And a myriad is an age. So for five ages, these locusts that appear as women, uh, before the flood, everything was masculine patriarch. Solar worship. The sun in Leo. Afterwards, they give us the moon worship. Cancer. So we're supposed to be in this divine, feminine, moon worship. Uh, and it's dressed up like that, but that's not what it is. It's dressed up like the woman, like the moon. But it's men wearing women's dresses. It's the gods of war in her house. And they go on for one, two, three, four, five months five myriads, five moons, and now they're killing us all. They've been doing this since the flood. The locusts are here. Now we're told that when Thalem comes, when this stone from heaven, this air sign comes, it's going to restore all things, including the years the locust ate. All this is going to be returned to us. Now, how that happens, I don't know, other than, as I keep saying, we finna get a new zodiac. We're fixing to get a new magic circle, one that cannot be corrupted. And we'll all be in the know. Aquarius is about knowing. When you pop your pineal gland, you know these things. A lot of you already know them. You'll watch videos or certain things that somebody will say, and it just resonates with you. And you know you hear truth. Oh, that's truth. I know. That's the answer I've been looking for. You've been pondering these deep questions. The answers are already there. First, what do we do? Stop reacting. Stop reacting. Just look at it and question it. Try to understand it. And then cry out to heaven for that stone the builders rejected. Take these images I'm giving you and start 
focusing in on them in your mind and that stone will come think of in your mind picture the earth shifting whether it's a magnetic shift an earthquake shift tsunami shift or or asteroid coming from heaven who the hell cares as long as it moves so that we can all be in that frequency that's coming from Aquarius now when you talk about Thalem looking himself in the eye that's even more that's even longer than this let's watch this so we're kicked in on Fomahawk now and we need to bring him to the 321 right we need to take him there we just have the sun we still have a ways to go let's kick up some years and bring him to that spring equinox where he is in conjunction with the sun we can get rid of the images to do that we don't even have to look at this we just need to bring the sun to come in line right here and when we do that that is the image where the sun and the sphinx is looking itself right in the eye so let's let me pull this away so it can be a little more let's go into the future we'll see when this occurs and it's a lot longer than you think so we need even so come quickly I mean that's what we need because I agree this is getting out of hand and they've ramped up their game they're ready to move it forward they're ready to play their end game card and they could care less about us I'm telling you they're trying to piss God off or get his attention Saturn's attention so that he'll return to the earth they're mad at daddy Zeus is mad at daddy Kronos at father time when they say Kronos eats his children time consumes all things and they seek to change the times and the seasons right well they did it they did it by keep locking the clock I would say it's almost there that keep popping back because of the way they set our clock up we shouldn't have an extra day added we'll give it a little more So maybe you're looking at year 3300, 322. Is that why they're popping on that number? Is that our number right there? Is that what they're looking for? We can't wait that long, people. This planet won't survive that long. Humanity won't survive that long with these people in control. I'm not even sure we should call them people. I don't know what to say. They have, they're destroying themselves without actually realizing it. But I don't think we can wait another 1,200 years. That ain't even possible. I don't think the earth would last that long. She's crying out herself but if we're going to do anything on a collective level we have to do it using alchemy symbology the upper chakras the imagery that i am suggesting to you it is the imagery that the universe gave to us it's the imagery they use but uh, just like they have their cross, they, the Vatican is considered the seat of St. Peter, not the seat of Thalem, not the seat of the Lamb, but the seat of Peter. Well, Peter's crucified upside down, so they got their cross upside down. <clears throat> Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Peter was crucified upside down they've got their cross upside down 
and they've got the rest of us on the wrong cross. Because the way they set it up currently, uh, it's 23.5, almost 24 degrees off sink. So, and there's 30 degrees in um, a month, basically. So, what you're talking about is 23.5 or 24 people out of 30 people are on the wrong cross. So basically, five out of six people are on the wrong cross. And you have no idea the implications of that. That's how they get us to pay for their sins. They've got us on the wrong cross. We're carrying somebody else's burden. It's not our responsibility. And you will never be able to navigate the maze as long as you're carrying the wrong cross and it's pointing you in the wrong direction. You'll make a wrong turn every time. That's why it was written in the heavens. The scribes scribbled the scriptures way back here at Babylon, which is before the flood. They dug it up, called it Egypt, and chose another stone, Sirius and or Aldebaran. Or even Orion. Pick one of them. They'll give you any stone but Fomalhaut. And you see them running around with all these symbols, but they don't want to talk about the water bearer. I have a video to do about the water bearer still and what's in the bucket. Because you're going to be shocked what's in the bucket. Because it ain't water. Well, it is water, but it ain't what you think. It depends on the legend that we are told. When you talk about Taurus, these are the builders. Right? Taurus is a representation of the builders. Uh, we also had the builders back over here in Virgo that set up this kingdom here for the kings. We have the architect. The great architect who put all this together and hijacked Zeus kills his father Kronos, cuts him open and takes his children or his siblings out. That's time. So he messed with the clock way back here. And he come in and he plants tares. Are you seeing? And they got to grow up together because you can't tell them apart till they get grown between the wheat and the tares. So it's Jupiter's offspring. When you talk about Jupiter's offspring and those that were begat on the earth in that age, that frequency, you're talking about Europe. <clears throat> we're given the word and the mumbo jumbo Anunnaki. Anunnaki, those from heaven to earth came? No. Those from Europe to Asia came. That's how that worked. Are those from uh, actually Eurasia into Africa is the re if you want to be technical about it. Even the Vedics and the Hindis they'll tell you the story. The last great war on this planet were the yellow people and the black people. Now these guys mix themselves with any people of every age. They mix themselves with the seeds of men. They take their women. And they raise up the kings so that the next age they're in control, just like they did here. What happened? They came over, they slaughtered the North and South Americans, the native peoples. And the French people came over here and started breeding with them. Instead of killing them, they started breeding with them. And we have an offspring in the South. There's a group of people. Um, I'm part of that. I'm considered Creole. I'm half Native American, half French. So I'm Creole. If you're Cajun, you're half French, half uh, African American. They breeded with the slaves. So you have Cajun and Creole that both have this French bloodline in them. To where the Europeans are breeding with the daughters of men. Are you seeing this? And, and now... They want to set up a kingdom. 
They want to set up a kingdom in the south, and they want to put the head of it in New Orleans. Because on the line, 30 degrees, the Sphinx sits at 30 degrees looking east. And when he looks east at 30 degrees, he's got to look straight through New Orleans. After New Orleans, and he crosses over into Texas, right there is Padre Island. It's the Father's Island. Behind Padre Island is Corpus Christi, the body of Christ. Corpus Christos, the body of Christ. It's all set up. They know now. But they built Washington, D.C., and it venerates... Um, it venerates Sirius, and it venerates Lucifer, which is Venus in Libra. And she fell, right? Venus, masculine aspect here. So, in a way, they're venerating the masculine and the feminine aspects of Venus, who rules Taurus and Libra. You must learn alchemy. You must learn the names of the planets and their different aspects in the different constellations. This alchemical circle is based on nature. It's perfectly natural. It's to bring us out of those depths where man fell. We fell into confusion. Our pineal gland got shut off. The pineal gland is the communicator so you can talk to God or your higher self. And using the other chakras, you can tune in to any of these constellations or any of these stars. And that's what they do. But they don't want to talk to Saturn. They can't. They're terrified of him right now. They're actually beginning to regret what they've done. I think they're, like it says, everybody's going to wake up. Some to everlasting life and some to condemnation, and that condemnation is self-condemnation, and it's about shame. Shame, shame, shame on you. Shame on you for what you did and what you didn't do. Well, what we're doing is reacting. Stop, 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 stop. What we didn't do is look within, to go within. Get rid of those images that are empowering these corporations. People love to run around with these logos. Nike, Mercury. I mean, just pick one. Pick any one. Five-pointed star, always going back to Venus. Not that Venus and Mercury are bad. They rule the upper chakras. But they tied in with these guys. They'll be forgiven. Uh, everybody can be forgiven, but the thing is, it's about forgiving yourself. It's about recognizing the errors of your ways, because you're going to be the king sitting on the throne judging yourself. You're going to be, it's like looking in the mirror and seeing the true you and going, oh, what have I done? You ever done that where you thought you were making a good decision? And then you realized how bad that was. I wish I could go back and change it. Proverbs. There's a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof is death. So we've had this whole five ages that we were supposed to be in the divine feminine. It was hijacked. These are these locusts that are dressed like these women, but they've got these tails of these scorpions, Mars over here. Keeping them in that reactive base chakra. If you had presented this information to me five years ago, I'd have just laughed, threw it out the door, and kept walking. But the more I look at it, it is perfection. I haven't found an error in it. And it perfectly aligns with the Bible when you read the Bible as an astrology book. And now that we're starting to wake up to that, people are coming out of the churches in droves. All right, suddenly California wants to ban the Bible. Now they're ready to get rid of it because that's the problem to everything. There's nothing wrong with the Bible. It's the way it's being translated. 
Everybody's, everybody that's ever walked into a church and remained there has been pulled to the pit and altered. We need to come out from under that. And it's a choice. Just walk away. Turn your back on it. You see how we leave the, these churches and they start dying? That we can do the same thing to the powers that be. And they're, they are propped up by the corporations. Stop buying products with logos on it. Stop buying anything new. Go to garage sales. Go to flea markets. Buy from the mom and pops. Get at, Stop empowering. And it's built into the name. It's a corpse oration. These are the gods of Cthulhu that were resurrected. Know ye not this? The old gods were the gods of the corporations. You can't hold anybody accountable because they're all dead. They're a corpse. It's just a shell. It's a shell, a body. It has no life in it, no soul in it. It's just a corpse. Uh, Jupiter without Saturn is just a corpse. Uh, Jupiter represents the flesh, but it's Saturn that gives you that breath of life. Otherwise, Jupiter is just a corpse. And that's what these companies are. They're corpse orations. And they're really the ones pulling the strings. They're the ones problem, reaction, solution. How do we get from out under that? We're the damn puppets. They put on this big stage show and get us all fired up, Mars, lower chakra, and we react. We're puppets. On, we're marionettes. We're marionettes. And they pull that string and off we go. Stop participating. Go into the lobby, get you a box of popcorn, because that's like popping the pineal gland. You see, the Native Americans was given the corn as the symbol not the pine cone. You throw some heat on that corn and it pops, baby. And you take your popcorn and you go sit in the sit in the audience and watch the show. Don't react. Don't applaud. Don't laugh. Don't cry. Study. Look. Learn. It, the script is in the heavens. The scribes scribbled the scriptures at Babylon and they're still scribbling on them. And when that one looks rough, they start scribbling some more new religions. There's only one truth and one thing that's going to destroy all this, and it's the stone the builders rejected. You want out from under their bondage? Only you can do that for you. Pick up your cross, follow him daily, get in there and pop that pineal gland. Start imagining those images I'm telling you. And for those of you who are artistic or who paint, Paint me that image. Paint me that image of the sun rising with that sphinx looking dead in the sun and that egg right there in the middle standing up on its own. And I'll put it on a t-shirt, coffee cups, whatever. There's you a logo with some power. That's the stone that comes from heaven and crushes this beast that we know of as iron mixed with miry clay. And down comes Nebuchadnezzar's statue of confusion. And down comes the scribes who scribble the scriptures. Because then you will know, even as you are known. There is no other solution, and there is no answer. We've been through this before. When I put this channel back up, the first video I made was on the word solution. And it translates to the sun in Aquarius. That's the solution. The sun in Aquarius. He's Shin. He's Shin. Light is Lu. So the light, the soul, the sun, Lu, the light, and Shin, Aquarius. The sunlight in Aquarius is the solution. The stone the builders rejected. The mountain that falls from heaven and destroys those feet of iron mixed with miry clay. <laughs>